Yukun! You got an invitation from your reunion! Uh, wait. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, my shoulders feel so stiff. It hurts. Fine. I'll massage them for you. Great. Thanks. Ah! I can't move them. Squeeze and rub. Squeeze and rub. Uh, how is it? Thanks. It feels great. Gosh, my high school reunion, huh? Are you going? I thought that there was this girl you didn't want to meet. Yeah, I'm gonna have to pass on this one. I'm busy with work anyways. My name is Yudai Tanaka. I'm 26. I spend my day stuck in front of a computer, and it's taking a toll on my shoulders. I was transferred from the Nagoya office to the Tokyo head office this year. I moved out of my parents' house, and I'm currently living with Misa, my two-year younger little sister. Misa's a part-time worker. She's working hard to become a fashion model. You coon, you're still young! Why are your shoulders so stiff? I think it's because of my bad posture. I go to a chiropractor with my model friends. Do you want me to take you? A chiropractor? I've never been to a chiropractic clinic before. And so, I took Misa's offer to introduce me to her chiropractor. Tanaka-kun? Uh, Suzuki-san? However, I found out that Yuri Suzuki worked there. She was the girl that hated me in high school. I saw her nameplate and realized she was the head of the clinic. I was mortified. She was why I didn't want to attend the high school reunion. Uh, uh, first, please fill out this medical questionnaire. Bring it back to me when you are finished. Uh, okay. I can tell she recognizes me. She seems so uncomfortable. And this is too awkward. I started thinking about our past while filling out the questionnaire. I still have no idea why Suzuki-san hated me so much. It all started in junior year, right before summer break. Don't you dare talk to me! What? What the heck happened? Uh, I hate you so much! Huh? I'm so confused. We regularly talked up until that day. To be honest, I had the biggest crush on her. It was shocking to hear that the girl I liked hated me so much. We were in different classes our senior year and didn't talk for the rest of high school. I never got the chance to ask her why she felt that way. I regret not asking her why she suddenly started hating me back then. Nobody I asked knew anything. But maybe I did something horrible to her without realizing it. What are the chances? Who would have thought I would bump into her here? I kept remembering horrible memories. I started thinking I should leave without filling out the medical questionnaire. However, that would be rude to Misa. She went out of her way to introduce me. I couldn't just leave. I see. So you have stiff shoulders regularly? Yes. They feel so tight. I can't raise my arms because they hurt so much. I understand. Let's take a look. Please, follow me to the other room. Suzuki-san has such a bland tone. I guess that's better for both of us. I'm sure neither of us wants to dig up the past. Whatever. My shoulders hurt. I'll get treated here today and find another clinic to make my next reservation. I kept myself busy with little thoughts while I waited in the treatment room. Hi there. My name is Ainosuke Gorizawa. Ah! He looks like he could pulverize my bones! Uh, it's... Very... nice to meet you. Likewise, I massage with love. Why does that sound scary? However, once the treatment was over... Wow, I can totally lift my arms now. Thank you so much. Good. It's because I put my heart into it. <laughs> so, how often do people usually visit their chiropractor? Since you're just starting... You should visit us once every three to five days for the next three sessions. Three sessions? Well, Gorizawa-san will be massaging me. It won't hurt to come again. I see. Can I make my next reservation today? My shoulders feel light and relaxed. I decided to make my next reservation for three days later. Oh, Yukun, you're home. How was it? I feel so much better now. Although, there is just one issue. And... Issue? What happened? 
Do you remember how I told you about the girl I didn't want to see? It turns out she's the head of the clinic. What? No way! Oh, I feel awful, Yukun. I had no idea. Nah, it'll be okay. She won't be in charge of my treatments anyways. I see. So... You'll keep going? Yep, I'm going back in three days. That night, I slept peacefully for the first time in a while. On my third day of treatments, Suzuki-san and I exchanged a few words whenever we saw each other. But we never talked about what happened in high school. How are you feeling? Great, thanks to Gorizawa-san. And finally, my third treatment was over. Hmm, I have a feeling my love wasn't enough for you. Uh, Gorizawa-san? You lost me. What do you mean? I don't think I've done enough to heal you completely. Oh, that's what you're talking about. It's okay. I like it here. I'm planning on coming back for regular treatments. Now that the first part of your treatment is over, the next part will be the convalescent stage. Convalescent stage? We will gradually bring your body back to a healthy state. In your case, posture. We'll need you to come in every week. The treatment will take about four to six weeks. I see. That sounds doable. Suzuki-san should take over from here. Huh? Suzuki-san? Wait, me? Yes, every chiropractor has their strengths and weaknesses. Suzuki-san is the best when it comes to the convalescent stage. I hope he means the treatment will end faster, but still... Tanaka-san, do you feel uneasy about this? Uh, no! I think I'll be fine. Thank you for asking. And so, Suzuki-san ended up taking over after Gorizawa-san. I made a reservation for a week later and left the clinic. Suzuki-san had no choice but to accept the change since I was a patient, but I wasn't sure if I should have said okay. After I got home, I asked Misa for some advice about my situation. It doesn't sound like Suzuki-san hates you anymore, Yukun. Really? Yeah, you know, she could be waiting for the right time to apologize to you. But I mean, it's up to you. Up to me? A week later, I visited Suzuki-san's chiropractic clinic for my treatment session. Please, let me know if anything hurts. Okay, I'll make sure I do. Why am I so nervous right now? None of the awkwardness was gone, but we had no choice but to start the session. Wow, this feels so nice. I can feel the tension leaving my body. I was amazed at how professional and talented Suzuki-san was. I thought Gorizawa-san was the best, but as it turns out, there's always better. It was like my body was melting and floating at the same time. <sighs> it's time to end the session. Tanaka-san, wake up. <gasps> uh, thanks for the massage! <sighs> I could tell you were deep in your sleep. It felt so good. I can't believe I fell asleep. My gosh, I feel like I'm in a new body. I'm glad you feel that way. However, it won't last unless you continue to improve your posture. You spend a lot of time staring at your computer screen. Your back is rounded and bent. How can I fix my posture? Goizawa will teach you some stretches you can do to loosen up your body. Please do these stretches once every hour for the next few weeks. I see. I appreciate all of this. And so, I stayed for a bit more to learn posture-fixing stretches from Gorizawa-san before I headed home. Suzuki-san called my name just as I was about to walk out the door. Um... Tanaka-kun... Huh? Suzuki-san? Did you forget to tell me something? Um... Uh, never mind. I guess I'll see you next week. Oh, okay. Yukun, you're back! How did your session go? It wasn't as bad as I expected it to be. Hey... Maybe I'm overthinking things. So, did Suzuki-san apologize for what she did to you? Nah, we didn't talk about stuff like that today. I see, but I still have a feeling she's waiting for the right time to apologize to you. She doesn't have to apologize to me. It happened a long time ago. Yes, she does. Even if it did happen years ago, you guys never had closure. It's important to have closure so both of you can move on. Moving on, huh? Come to think of it, Suzuki-san seemed like she had something to say today. To be completely honest, the incident with Suzuki-san traumatized me. I've been reluctant towards girls since. Even if I started feeling things for a girl, I could never take the next step since I was afraid of how she'd react. 
That's why I haven't had a girlfriend my whole life. But it would be unfair to blame her for everything. I mean, there is a possibility I did something to anger her. If so, I should be the one apologizing. A week later, I was at the clinic with a heavy heart. Um, Suzuki-san, there's something I want to ask you before we start. Oh, okay. What is it? Will it be possible for us to talk after today's session is over? I see. Well, we have a busy day today. Will it be okay if we talk another day? Of course! We can set a date once you tell me when you'll be free. Thank you, and... um... Yes? Have you changed your phone number since high school? Uh, no! I still have the same number. It felt a bit awkward, but not necessarily in a bad way. I still had Suzuki-san's phone number in my phone directory. It was surprising to hear she hadn't deleted mine, though. A few days later, Suzuki-san and I met up on her day off from work. We stepped into a restaurant to grab a bite together. Um, Tanaka-kun, there is something I wanted to apologize to you about. Huh? I saw the solemn expression on her face and realized she was talking about the incident. You see, what happened in high school, it was a misunderstanding. A misunderstanding? Tanaka-kun, you have a pretty little sister, right? Uh, yeah. Her name is Misa. She's the one who introduced me to your clinic. I see. <laughs> I knew it. Back in high school, I was walking home one day when I happened to come across you and Misa-san walking together. You guys looked so good together. I thought you were dating her. At the time, I didn't know she was your sister. I guess I was jealous. I was upset about you having a girlfriend I didn't know about. So I decided to ask one of your friends, Watanabe-kun, about Misa-san. Oh yeah, that's Tanaka's girlfriend. Oh, uh, I knew it. Yeah, he's hiding their relationship from everybody else. Oh, uh, why would he do that? Well, he changes his girlfriend like he changes his underwear. Oh, Tanaka-kun wouldn't do that! <laughs> Come on, why would I lie? He even told me he's planning on making you his next girlfriend. I don't know why I believed him, but... I did. Wait a second! Watanabe said that about me?! Yeah. It never occurred to me that he might be lying. I believed him. I should have asked you in person, but I wasn't in control of my emotions that day. I see. So that's why you were so upset with me. Watanabe and I hit it off from the start of high school. I always knew he secretly had to feel for Suzuki-san, although he never acted on it. I never planned on telling her about how I felt, since I didn't want to betray him. I couldn't believe he would go behind my back and tell Suzuki-san all those lies about me! How did you find out that he lied to you? When you made a reservation through Misa-san. You realized Misa was my little sister? Not my girlfriend? Yes. I contacted watanabe to ask him about what he told me back then. That's when he told me he lied to you about Misa-san in high school. So then, I don't want to sound cocky, but does that mean you liked me back then? Yes, I had a huge crush on you. My heart fluttered whenever you talked to me. I was hoping you would ask me out someday. Wow, I had no idea. After finding out that she had been tricked by Watanabe, I wasn't sure what to think of the whole thing. I wonder why I couldn't see through his lies. If only I had believed in you, we could have had a different ending. Maybe together. I'm sorry, Tanaka-kun. It's all my fault. You don't know how ashamed I am for telling you so many horrible things that day. Suzuki-san started crying as she apologized to me. Suzuki-san, I accept your apology. I could tell how reuniting with me affected you. It must have been tough. Well, I... I knew I had to apologize to you, but I didn't know how to bring it up. Hearing you tell me that is enough for me. I'm not holding any grudges. So, did Watanabe apologize to you for lying to your face? No. He started hitting on me, saying he still has feelings. He said he lied because he liked me so much, and that he still thought about me a lot. Wow. What did you tell him? Of course I shut him down. How am I supposed to trust him when I know he's the type of person that can lie with such a cool face? But he's been quite persistent since then. 
He came by the clinic as a patient to request my massages. He also waited for me outside till I finished work. Hey, he sounds dangerous! Did you tell the police about him? Yeah. I asked for their help, but they told me they couldn't do anything about it unless he did something to hurt me. Oizawa was kind enough to accompany me on my way home until Watanabe-kun gave up. Watanabe! I never knew how crazy he was! Still, I blame myself for causing all of this. I should have brushed off his lies back then. Stop! Watanabe's the wrong one here. He shouldn't have lied and manipulated you like that. Wait, Suzuki-san, are you going to the upcoming reunion? I wasn't planning to. I didn't want to bump into Watanabe-kun there. Well, my little sister said something to me a few days ago. Even if it's in the past, we all need closure to move on with our lives. Maybe we should face Watanabe, so we can all stop torturing ourselves about the past. But- It'll be okay. I'll be right by your side. The day of the reunion, Suzuki-san and I met up beforehand and walked in together. I wasn't surprised to see the shocked expression on Watanabe's face when he saw us. T tanaka Why are you here with Suzuki-san? I'm a patient at her clinic. You know, she told me all about what you said to her. Huh? What are you talking about? Don't play dumb. She already told me how you lied and manipulated her to get closer. I never lied to anybody. Hey, you knew who Misa was, but you told Suzuki-san that Misa was my girlfriend, not my little sister. No, uh, well, uh, Suzuki-san mentioned seeing you with a girl. I didn't think the girl was Misa, okay? Why don't you give up already? You told Suzuki-san that you lied. Why won't you accept it? She also told me you've been following her around recently. I'm... I'm only trying to get her to see that we belong together. I've liked her for so long. And I told you it wasn't going to happen. Uh... If you really liked and cared about Suzuki-san, you shouldn't have lied to her. And you shouldn't be forcing your feelings onto her right now. You scared her so much, she had to go to the police to ask for help. One of the clinic staff had to take her home every day. How much more trouble are you going to cause? What you need to do is apologize to her and promise you will never bother her again. I'm sorry for lying to you and for following you around. I promise I will never come near you again. That's all I wanted to hear. We're fine now, but you still need to apologize to Tanaka-kun for what you did. Tanaka, I'm sorry. I don't know what was going through my head. I will never bother Suzuki-san again. Will you guys forgive me? Suzuki-san and I left the reunion after getting the long-due apology from Watanabe. I'm not exactly sure how I feel about how things turned out. Yeah, I'm sorry. You had to say some tough stuff to defend me. That's not what I'm talking about. A man has to protect the woman he loves. Huh? The woman he loves? Oh, uh, I mean... Uh including the woman he used to love. What? So you're saying you had feelings for me back then? Uh, well, yes, I guess what that's what it means. So if Watanabe-kun didn't lie to us, uh, we would have. Yeah, probably. Um, do you still have time right now? Yeah, I don't have any plans after this. Do you want to go out for drinks with me? That sounds like a great idea. Let's find a nice place. And so, Suzuki-san and I headed to a nearby bar. Damn it. Why do they get to have a happy ending? Yuri belongs to me. I'm going to win her over no matter what I have to do. What does she see in him anyways? How can she like Tanaka over me? She must be an idiot for choosing him. Excuse me. You right there. What the hell do you want? I'm busy. Oh, ah! Hello. I'm Ainosuke Gorizawa. I massage with love. You're the gorilla guy from her clinic! Why are you here? I figured you would be up to no good, so I followed you here. You don't know when to stop, do you? What you're feeling is not love. I'm here to correct you with a lesson on love, since you seem to have it all wrong. This is my last resort. I have no choice but to... What? You're gonna force me to give up on her? No. I'm the chiropractor of love. I will use a skill passed down from my parents. Wisha! Ah! Oh! Wait. What the hell? 
I didn't feel a thing. <laughs> I'm sure you didn't see me because I moved too fast. I've damaged your weak point. Weak point? You're making no sense. The weak point I have damaged just now is stopping the blood flow into a precious part of a man's body. To be more specific, you will never function as a man for the rest of your life. What the heck are you talking about? So, I can't have any children? You are a useless man now. Oh my gosh! I heard that Watanabe tried to get the police's help on this case, but they didn't believe anything because it sounded so ridiculous. A few days later, Suzuki-san and I were on a date. There's something I want to tell you again, Tanaka-kun. Okay. What is it? I am grateful for everything you did for me about the whole Tanabe-kun incident. Thank you. And also, I wanted to ask you if you go out with me. Only if you want to. Yeah, of course. I was planning on asking you today. Uh, really? Thank God. And so, we were finally able to start our relationship. Watanabe's lies ripped us apart ten years ago. It took a long time to get back to where we were. But I'm thankful because I believe everything happens for a reason. There's another thing I wanted to talk to you about. Huh? Gorizawa-san and Misa-san? We had no idea, but Gorizawa-san and Misa had been working behind the scenes. After Misa found out about Suzuki-san and my past, she partnered up with Gorizawa-san. They kept in touch the whole time, discussing how they would get us to reconcile. So when Gorizawa-san said he didn't do enough, he was talking about Suzuki-san and me. So when Gorizawa-san suggested that I should be your doctor... Although it was for love, I felt terrible lying to you two. I had no idea. I think we should feel thankful. We probably wouldn't have ended up together if it wasn't for you two. I second that. Neither of us would have brought up and faced our past if it wasn't for your support. It's all thanks to your teamwork. Thank you for your kind words. Oh, we have something else we need to tell you. <laughs> we've been dating for a while now, and we've decided to get married. What? <laughs> We're in love. In love. I was disappointed to find out my little sister will be married before me. But don't worry. Yuri and I ended up getting married soon after. Thank you. Thank you for watching. How was today's video? Please check out our other videos as well.